Nashville, Indiana, known as the Blast Newscast. His goal with each week's newscast is to teach people the Word of God, not just to the kids at Team Blast, but to people who may not have heard of Team Blast or may not even have heard about such things as God or Jesus. Our goal is to inspire, and we're here to get you interested in God's Word because we are teen believers loving and serving together under one God. Hallelujah. And now, coming to you live from Teen Blast Ministries right here in good old Sharpsville, Indiana, Corey Dalton and Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Chris Henry. Hello and welcome to the Blast Newscast. I'm Corwin Dalton. And I'm Jacob Pyle. If you can recall from last week, we officially counted down to the new year. It's kind of a special tradition. It's like turning over a new leaf. Today we are going to go through the Blast Newscast archives as we pick out some of our favorite moments of 2013. Now, as much as we would like to show you all the stories and moments that ever occurred in 2013, we don't have time to show all of it to you, but instead, we narrowed it down to our top five moments. So please, whatever you do, don't be offended if your favorite moment did not make the list. Here with our top five moments of 2013 is our Blast Newscast reporter, Brian Bookhouse. Thanks, Corey. We are now going to present you with the top five of our favorite moments of 2013. A recap from some of our favorite moments that occurred in 2013 that you guys are, might remember too. Now, in 2013, we said goodbye to our two former News Blast characters, Dustin Clifton and Rachel Geller. And what was known as a spit shake ceremony. So, on number five of our list is the spit shake ceremony for Dustin Clifton. We're going to make it official in front of the viewing audience in a traditional style known as what we call the passing of the torch or the blasting cast spit shake ceremony. And here's how we'll do it. I'm going to have the two of you face each other, not now. Um, and I'm going to have the two of you give each other a spit shake to make it official. But don't do it yet, though. We are going to do that on a countdown from ten. Go ahead and go ahead and. Um, Go ahead and face each other real quick. Okay. You, you ready, Dustin? Oh, yeah. You ready, Taylor? Sure. We're going to do it right now. Let's begin the countdown. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Spit shake. Taylor Long is now our next Blast News Cast reporter. Dustin, thank you so much for all you've done. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you. And Taylor, welcome to our news team. Thank you. On oh, number four, this is Pit Shake Ceremony for Rachel Keller. You ready, Rachel? Yes. Ready, Trent? Oh, definitely. All right, if you guys are ready, let's begin the countdown. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Spit Shake! Trent Byers is a temporarily blast newscast co-worker and he doesn't want, want to stop shaking. <laughs> also in 2013, we tried a brand new weekend edition of the newscast as well, which didn't fall well on viewership. But we would like to show a clip for you from one of our episodes of the weekend edition of the blast newscast. On number three of our list, here's our very own blast newscast announcer, Chris Henry, trying his hand on a very tricky tongue twister. Take a listen. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pair of Don Alvarez's tweezers, 7,000 Macedonian in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skate with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth. Ten lyrical, spherical, diabolical Denzians of the deep who all stall around the corner of the crow of the quay of the quivery all at the same time. How do you do? Pretty great, Chris. Chris Henry, ladies and gentlemen. On number two of our list is the trip to Warren Dune State Park. Here's a clip of Blast Newscast's very own Jacob Pyle as he 
Struggles to climb the top of the mountain, one of the Warren Dunes State Park, very famous dunes. Da 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 Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! You did it! Yay! Yeah! Fist pump, Jacob! Yeah! And finally, on number one of our list is, of course, Big Stuff Church Camp 2013, which is a fun time for all the Teen Blast kids who go to it each and every year. Hope you like our 2013 recap of some of our favorite moments. What will 2014 bring? Find out on future editions of the newscast. For the last newscast, I'm Brian Milgo. It's a pizza party! 2014 is going to be filled with some happy memories for all of us to share. So don't forget to catch the Blast newscast each and every Tuesday on Facebook or the Blast newscast website because you'll never know what's going to happen and now here with this week's team blast announcements is Tyler Miller thank you Corey hello everyone here's our team blast announcements for this week this Friday will be the fifth quarter at team blast from 9 to midnight it will cost two dollars anyone is welcome to come on February 14 team blast is leaving for Indianapolis Indiana for a choir to fire 2014 it will be a two-day event, and this event is open to anyone. It will cost $45. You will need extra money for souvenirs and pizza for Friday night's supper at the hotel. If interested, talk to Kendra or Desi, because as is everything will be first come, first serve. On March 18, Team Blast will be having its annual Appreciation Day dessert banquet. If you are interested in auditioning something for the show, let Kendra and Desi know. Acts for the show will be chosen based on tryout purposes only, and there will be no guarantees. Come help us out as we say thanks to the people who make Team Blast possible for us every week. And finally, Team Blast will be leaving for Panama City Beach, Florida, for Big Stuff Camp, Big Stuff Church Camp on J July 20th. It will cost $350 for the first 30 people who sign up, along with the additional $50 non-refundable deposit. As of right now, two of Big Stuff Church Camps were already sold out. Once our camp gets sold out, we won't be able to take any more people. So if interested, talk to Kendra and Desi, because once camp is full, it'll be too late. If you have an announcement of an upcoming event that you'd like to share with us, message Jacob Pyle on Facebook or leave us a note on the Blast Newscast website at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. Your announcement needs to be sent in at least two to three weeks prior to the date of the event in order for it to be used on the newscast. I'm Tyler Miller, and those are your announcements for this week. And now it's time for our weather with our rain or shine weatherman, Levi Bennington. Thank you, Jacob. Hello, everybody. Last week, if you've been watching weather reports, you've probably heard of Hercules. Our first winter storm of 2014, in fact, one of the worst winter storms that ever hit Indiana since 1994, with a possible foot of snow, and don't be expecting this, the snow to melt anytime soon, as we will be having sub-zero temperatures outside as well for the next couple of days. So, stay safe, and remember that if you don't have to go anywhere today, please don't. So for today, expect a few snow showers with a high of negative 1 degree and a low of negative 5 degrees. Tomorrow, expect cloudy skies with a high of 17 degrees and a low of 16 degrees. And for the rest of your week, expect cloudy skies for both Thursday and Friday and a 60% chance of showering for Saturday. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week, whatever you do. I'm Levi Bennington, and that's today's weather. The Blast Newscast now has its own official website. It's at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. 
Here you will find current episodes of the Blast Newscast, catch up with past episodes of the Newscast, get to know the people who make the Blast Newscast possible, and even drop us a line with your questions, comments, suggestions, or ideas. As I said, it's all here at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. That's www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. See you there. Jacob Pyle. Everything is beautiful in its own way. Like a starry summer night or snow covered winter's day. And everybody's beautiful in their own way.
Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Looking for something to do on a weekday afternoon? Come and join us for Team Blast. Our address is 210 South Main Street, Sharpsville, Indiana, 46068. Anyone 6th grade or older is welcome. We are open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays for Open Gym from 3 to 6 p.m. Tuesdays for Team Blast from 3 to 9 p.m. With Tuesday services from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. And Fridays for the fifth quarter from 9 p.m. to midnight. Come join us, won't you? On next week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we are going to have our next installment in our monthly lesson learning skits as we present the story of five ordinary high school students living in one ordinary town making ordinary choices. But think for a moment what would happen if the word faithful was taken out of their ordinary world. Find out as we present our next installment, our monthly lessons and learning skits, as we present the Faithless Zone. That's coming up on next week's edition of the Blast Newscast, and we will see you then. And with that, that will be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Corwin Dalton. And I'm Jacob Pyle. Until next week, good night, and God bless my friends. Let's have a blast. This is Chris Henry speaking for the Blast Newscast. This program has been pre-recorded. <laughs>